Most personal finance YouTubers out there will tell you that the most important milestone when it comes to saving or investing or your net worth is when you reach $100,000 or pounds. And while there are solid reasons for them to be saying this, they might not be focusing on the right milestone for everyone, most especially for beginners. The most important number when you are starting from zero or even a negative, especially with things like debt, is actually $10,000 or pounds. Now, don't get me wrong. Having or saving that amount doesn't mean that you're set for life, but it's actually the first milestone you should aim for if you are not there yet. And it's not rocket science seeing that 34% of UK population has less than a thousand pounds saved, while about 18% of the US population say that they have saved over a thousand dollars, but less than ten thousand dollars. Forget what you think you know. Reaching £10,000 or $10,000 will change your perspective with money. Here are nine reasons why having 10000 saved is the most important milestone for most people. The first reason why this is the most important milestone has to do with increased financial security. When you have $10,000 or pounds saved, you have a significant cushion against financial emergencies. This amount can actually cover 99% of life surprises. Think about it. Your car breaks down and you need a new engine, you're actually covered. You need an emergency root canal from the dentist, your pet gets sick, you're covered. A study by the Federal Reserve actually shows that 40% of Americans would struggle to cover a $400 emergency. But by having $10,000 saved, you are placing yourself in a much more secure position than a large portion of the population. Having this financial cushion means that you can handle unexpected expenses without having to rely on things like credit card or loans. Reaching this milestone in your savings is not just about having that safety net, which is actually good, but also about creating a solid financial foundation on which you can then build your future dreams and aspiration. That dream could be you buying your first home, for example, or starting a business, or furthering your education, or planning that dream vacation, whatever it is, having 10,000 saved gives you a strong starting point. When you have $10,000 or pounds saved, you can leverage that to make action for many people. And if you think about it, most small business owners actually use their personal savings to start their business venture. And having that amount of money saved could actually be your ticket to entrepreneurship. Additionally, this savings milestone allows you to invest in your own personal development, which cannot be overemphasized. Whether it's taking a course to improve your skills, investing in tools to enhance your productivity, whatever it is, the opportunities are actually endless. The sense of security that comes with this financial cushion actually allows you to focus on your growth without the constant worry of financial instability. Reaching this amount isn't just about the money. It's about what that money can actually do for you. It actually opened doors to opportunities that were previously out of reach and gives you the financial freedom to start turning your dreams into reality. Now, achieving this milestone is also about psychological benefits and there are psychological benefits that comes with this. There is a survey that found out that individuals with a solid savings cushion reportedly feel significantly more optimistic about their financial future. When you have $10,000 saved, the constant background noise of financial stress actually starts to fade just simply because you have a buffer. And this buffer means that you can handle these situations without scrambling for funds or falling into debt. And for many people, this buffer actually translates to simple peace of mind. There are numerous studies that show that severe financial stress causes anxiety and health issues. But knowing that you have this amount saved would drastically reduce that stress and overall improve your mental and physical health. Think about it. How often do money worries keep you up at night? How many times have you felt that pit in your tummy when an unexpected expense pops up? But with $10,000 saved, those moments become less frequent and less intense. You sleep better at night knowing that you are prepared for the unexpected. And that simply translates to you enjoying your daily life 
to the fullest. You can make decisions, take spontaneous trips, invest in a hobby without that nagging worrying about how it would affect your finances. The fourth reason is actually to take advantage of opportunities for growth. Reaching this financial milestone means that you have that financial flexibility to actually seize opportunities that can further your financial standing, which could be a game changer. But you won't be able to take advantage of that if you don't have anything saved in the first instance, like investing in rental property or even taking advantage of the stock market. And this is typified by Warren Buffett that has a very large cash buffer just waiting for a great deal in the stock market to invest. The bottom line is with this amount, you are able to respond quickly to unexpected but beneficial opportunities. I have a favor to ask you. If this has been helpful to you so far, hit the like button. It actually tells YouTube that it has been helpful and they can recommend it to other people. And if making better financial choices or understanding personal finance in a simple way is something that you wish, then you're in the right place. So just subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. The fifth reason is actually increased confidence which is all we are all about when you save your first ten thousand pounds something magical happens your confidence skyrockets why because hitting this financial milestone is tangible proof of your ability to manage and grow your finances for many people seeing a five-figure balance in their bank account for the first time is very empowering it's concrete indicator that you're doing something right it reinforces that you have control over your financial destiny according to a survey nearly 60 percent of americans feel more confident about their finances once they have at least one thousand dollars in savings imagine how much more confident you will gain with ten thousand dollars or ten thousand pounds the truth is this confidence doesn't just apply to financial decisions it actually seeps into every single area of your life when you know you have a safety net you can approach challenges with a stronger mindset whether it's asking for a raise at work or negotiating a better deal with a client or taking a calculated risk it gives you the backbone to go after what you actually want. Closely linked to increased confidence is actually the ability to say no to things that don't deserve your best interests. You would also hear some people call this FU fund because when you're living paycheck to paycheck, you often feel compelled to say yes to every single opportunity, every job, every request, just simply out of fear of financial instability. But with $10,000 saved, you have the freedom to say no to things that don't add value to your life. This could mean turning down extra work that stresses you out, declining social or work events that drain your energy or your wallet, or even saying no to purchase is that aren't truly necessary being able to say no is incredibly empowering it means that you're no longer driven by scarcity or fear but you're driven by choice and intention which are very powerful things a good friend of mine is a typical example of being able to say no because you have some money saved he's a locum doctor and is able to say no to 90 percent of the job that he gets for all sorts of reasons as long as it's not aligned to him as a person. The seventh reason is the option to buy back some time. I want to ask you a question. What is your most valuable resource? The truth is it's time. The fact is you can have more money, but you can't have more time. We all have 24 hours in a day. Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, we all have one thing in common and that's 24 hours in a day. This savings milestone can help you reclaim your most valuable resource which is time. When you have reached this milestone, you can afford to delegate tasks that consume your time, but don't necessarily add value to your life. That's the catch here. For example, you don't like cleaning, you could afford to hire a cleaning service. You don't like making your food, you could pay for a meal prep service. You can actually outsource tasks that are time consuming and you don't find joy or value in allowing you and freeing up time for you to do things that you actually enjoy. The ability to buy back time is actually a game changer. The eighth reason is actually better financial habits. One thing about reaching this milestone is who you become on the journey 
of getting to these milestones, the habit to develop along the way. The process of saving $10,000 or pounds for most people typically requires certain actions and a disciplined approach. These habits can actually impact your long-term financial health and improving on them can increase that pot to 100000 or ultimately financial independence. One of the key habits you develop is actually consistency. Saving money consistently, even if it's a small amount each month. The ninth reason is actually the shift from can I to do I want to. One of the most empowering changes this milestone actually brings is that shift. The shift from can I afford this to do I want this. When you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're constantly calculating whether you can afford something, worrying about whether buying this one thing means sacrificing another thing. It's a mindset that's actually dominated by scarcity and stress. But with $10,000 or pounds saved, you gain the freedom to make decisions based on your desires and values, not just your immediate financial constraints. So instead of constantly asking yourself if you can afford something, you start asking if you truly want that thing or you need it. This shift in mindset is liberating. It allows you to prioritize your spending based on what brings you joy and fulfillment rather than on what you can scrape together at the end of the month. For example, instead of stressing about whether you could afford to go out with friends, you can decide if that's how you want to spend your money based on the enjoyment and value that it brings to your life. This doesn't mean you should start spending recklessly. Financial discipline actually remains crucial, but having that amount or reaching that milestone means that you can make more thoughtful, deliberate choices with your money. You can invest in experiences and items that truly, truly matter to you, enhancing your overall quality of life. My friends, in summary, reaching $10,000 of pounds in savings actually empowers you to move from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance and intentionality. It transforms your financial decisions, allowing you to focus on what you truly want rather than what you can barely afford. I hope this video has been helpful. And if that's a yes, you would also enjoy this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.